The conscious and intelligent manipulation of the organized habits and opinions of the masses is an important element in democratic society. Those who manipulate this unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government, which is the true ruling power of our country. We are governed, our minds are molded, our tastes formed, our ideas suggested, largely by men we have never heard of. In almost every act of our daily lives, whether in the sphere of politics or business, in our social conduct or our ethical thinking, we are dominated by the relatively small number of persons who understand the mental processes and social patterns of the masses. It is they who pull the wires which control the public mind, who harness old social forces and contrive new ways to bind and guide the world. This passage was written by Edward Bernays, the nephew of Sigmund Freud and a pioneering mind behind advertising, modern propaganda, and the field of public relations. Bernays' influence was enormous, relying heavily on the insights of his uncle, he developed highly successful manipulation techniques which are still used today, not only by companies to sell consumer products, but also by the powers that be to, in the words of Bernays, control and regiment the masses. In this video we'll explore some of Bernays' most intriguing ideas, paying particular attention to his insights on how group psychology can be used to control and manipulate the masses.